Evening, Columbia County Schools adding a new security tool in the upcoming school year. Here's a look at it. Parents, this is a snapshot of an Axon device formerly known as a taser. The device can distribute up to 50,000 electric volts from as far as 15 feet away. The shock can cause a good bit of pain and the tensing up of muscles. The school district says it's a de-escalation tool not meant for harm. As our Hallie Turner tells us, some parents are not on board. Columbia County, the Board of Education school police officers usually carry various tools from handcuffs to guns. But this school year, they're adding a device, one that's new to them, but not law enforcement, leaving some parents with questions. Why would you intimidate a child? He doesn't want to show his face. Would you pull a taser on them and let them know there's a risk to them being tased? Something these parents say is too much. There's no need for tasers to be in elementary school, middle school. But the officers carrying the device say they won't have these to harm people, and the devices work differently on each person. The device is a super smart device. It only re releases enough amperage to just cause that effect only. And so why that's important is there's a huge safety margin. But parents say it's one step too far. Me, this is just a tool for intimidation to get verbal compliance because a child's not going to want to get tased, so they're going to listen. Chief Owen says it's a better option than the alternative. One more thing that you could do to avoid having the use of deadly force or use something that's going to, you know, hurt somebody. Parents say the officers handled many situations without these devices last year. Several fights, lots of knives found on kids that they took the knife away from the kid without needing a taser. School board police say the goal is to protect students. And we want to make sure at the end of the day that our students and our families and everybody that's involved with the school system knows that when they send their children to school, they're going to a safe environment. And parents are praying. But the only thing we can hope and pray is that they don't have to use them. Hallie Turner reporting for us there. Officers are required to have that device used on them before they can carry. De-escalation training will continue throughout the summer and is required every year.